hey guys oh wow i can't use that anymore huh <laughs> Well, I love how he doesn't even have his own intro. It's literally my intro. When I say, hey guys, like he literally not only reacts to my content, but literally has none of his own. He is a copycat. Like that Billie Eilish song. Loves it. Hey guys. How's it guys? Oh. Hi guys. Hey guys. <clears throat> hey, what up everyone? Uh, Michael B. Petty here. I know it's been a while since I've made a video and I will get into discussing where I've been on my break on YouTube, but I will save that for another video for another time because this isn't really relevant to what's going on right now. Now I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in, in our neck of the woods and our neck of YouTube, I guess, on Amberlynn's side and um, the hater community and even Flobby Bobby's world. Now I know I've been gone for a little bit and I want to do a little bit of a recap for what I, we've missed or what I've missed since um, I've been on my, since I've been gone, and also I want to do a little bit of a recap for people who may or may not know who Amberlynn or Chantel is. So here you go. Here's what happened last month. In Kentucky at Amberlynn's house of false starts and half-truths, while Ricky was stuck still being the only adult of the house, he was secretly devising a plan of escape in the middle of the night. People enjoy you more than they enjoy me. You know why? Why? It's about to try. While trying to find himself, Eric had discovered the art of drag, and like that, Kentucky's premier drag baby, Anita Personality, was born. Oh, girl! You can't tell me nothing! I Doubling down on the love of the dead, Becky has applied to be the protege of Hollywood medium's Tyler Henry. If everything goes as planned, Becky hopes to also have her own show one day in hopes of channeling Amber Lynn on her first episode. Some of my paranormal stories, like I've been promising you guys. Surprise! After trying to emulate countless other YouTubers, Amberlynn has finally found a truly inspirational figure to copy on her weight loss journey, Kirby. Meanwhile in Canada, Flobby Bobby has decided to take her marathon mukbang training into hyperdrive. Having relegated BB to his Xbox, Pete's and Chantel have been diligently working on her goals. They had a bit of a detour getting Chantel's pulmonary embolisms taken care of, but they have already made up for any lost time. And that's what you missed on- Alright, so now that we've gotten all that out of the way, I want to go ahead and start. I want to go ahead and start the discussion about ableism. I hate that we are going to have to have this conversation. I guess in the context of who we're talking about, because personally, I don't think that um, it does any kind of. Sur I think I personally think it does a disservice to the whole conversation because I think ableism is a real thing, and I think that ableism is something that is important. It's something that is highly overlooked in just society in general. And it sucks that these two individuals are trying to like co-op something that is I do that I do think is important in order to only benefit themselves. They're only doing it for a selfish reason. It's not that they're doing this to actually like shed some light or like actually, you know, expose any kind of like real issues going on out there. They're, honestly, the real reason that they're even invoking this argument is just to make themselves have some kind of footing or to give themselves some kind of um, pity for themselves, for their channels. That's pretty much what it all comes down to. Now, if you want to have a discussion on ableism, I am more than happy to hear anyone out on any anything, really. I mean, I read most of my comments. Um, if you have any kind of literature or anything that you think that I need to um, know about when it comes to ableism, I'm more than happy to read it if it's within reason. I mean, I'm not trying to like read a bunch of like people's think tank blogs or something, but like in terms of like things that are generally well accepted, generally well accepted, um, I would love to know more about it because like I said, I don't live with a disability, so I don't really know what it's like to live with one and what it's like to navigate a society that is based around around people who can walk or you know all that stuff so I don't really know what it's like so if you have any information on that please in the comments below let me share me share your stories with me you can dm me on twitter michael b petty instagram michael b petty all of that good stuff I want to hear about it in terms of when it comes to Amberlynn and Chantel I want to make this very clear I take their health as seriously as they do now when I say that I'm saying this to someone who's when it comes to Amberlynn, I've watched her videos for th almost four years now. So I've been watching her slowly ramp up to this level. With Chantel, I'd only been watching her videos for like the past year or something after getting the live stream of someone actually requesting me to react to that. And then since then, it's kind of become what it has become because I see who she is and I see how she acts. And so I, of course, I have something to say about that. I know that like a lot of people, a lot of haters or whatever, one of the biggest 
um, arguments that we get is, do you not have any empathy? Do you not have any compassion for what these people are going through? I have a lot of compassion. I have a lot of compassion for people in general. For most people I see, I like and enjoy. It's just these two individuals I so pr happen to know more about than the, a, a random stranger. So it's hard for me to disassociate all of the awful shitty things that they've done with how I should feel about their predicament, right? So it's hard for me to like, be like, well, yeah, Amber Lynn is 560 pounds and yes, it's hard for her to do certain things, but there's four years of material of her being pretty much an, a shitty person a lot. So it's, or using her weight to manipulate her audience. Same with Chantel. So it's hard for me to really care that much about someone who has used something as a tool to make money and to exploit uh, and to exploit reactions or elicit reactions out of people. That's really what it comes down to. Now, these are the clips that I want to play that are about the ableism and stuff, because that's really all I really want to talk about. All the other stuff is kind of null and void. This is what my life has become. I'm literally watching someone watch me walk. I can't. She's moving. She's up. She's not in her bed. She's outside. She's doing the damn thing. I'm doing the damn thing. Okay, yes. What? Woo! You did it! Woo! You did it! No, I still... Li listen, it's a tree. You walked to a tree. I can't. You walked maybe 20, 25 yards at most. <laughs> like... I have to stop this here. I can't keep watching this because it's like messing with my psyche. It's not that what he's saying is making me mad. It's just like, it's sad that there is someone like this who gets away with judging other people's mobility. Zach, I know you're watching this because hi. It's not, it's not okay for you to judge other people's mobility. I can't walk as far as you. I probably never will, but I am hoping, praying, wishing, and trying to. I try to move more every single day so I could build up my stamina. Me walking to that tree and then walking back from that tree was hard. That for me was hard. So that should show you my difficulties. I just can't see myself ever judging someone based on what they can and can't do. I think it's so wrong and it's it's kind of cruel. And what I first what what was this person was reacting in the video? They were saying so Amber Lynn was going basically it was just a video of her going for a walk, okay? And whenever you're 600 pounds, whether you think that she's not doing enough or she should be seeing a doctor, whatever you think she should be doing in her life to improve that does not give you the right to shame her or to react to her just going for a walk because at almost 600 pounds, walking is extremely difficult. Hello. Also, if you really think people should be losing weight, making fun of the things they do in efforts to lose weight isn't helping. And that's what this person's doing. Yeah, so when like you see someone like trying to do uh, good behavior and you make fun of them for it, all it says is that they that there is absolutely no point in them even trying. And it also shows that you genuinely do not care about them, that it is solely about making yourself feel superior. And no, it's solely about them making money off of that person's name because every video they do, they get tons of views for it and they make income off of it. And this was just a video of her going out for a walk and playing with her dog. And it had to turn into this big ordeal where she was going for a walk and this guy was like, Ah, normal people. Number one, I don't know how you can stand this person's voice, but ah, normal people can go for a walk, girl. And it's like that's that's what's ableist. That's fat shaming. So it's it's acceptable for you to do that. But if that was a video being made about you, uh, a homophobic video, um, it would be an outrage. But because it's a person who's overweight and has failed at dieting and has gained weight and is going through a rough time um like it's acceptable and it's like this person has this person is a vulnerable person they have severe mental issues they don't get to be almost 600 pounds because they're trolling or because they want to be so 
it's just this attitude that YouTube allows this crap, but if it was homophobic videos, you would be able to strike it and it would be an outrage. But now, first of all, what I want to get out of the way right away and Zachary Michael pointed this out in his video and I'm going to link to his video down below is Amberlynn edited her video to make him look like a piece of shit, even though Zachary clearly is not, but Amberlynn wanted to make it. She, she did this with the goal of making, getting people on her side and then also getting people to not like Zach. So I think it's important to remember that when she's talking about how this, so and this person is, um, how this person could have the gall to like comment on her walking, comment on her body, blah, blah, blah. I mean, first of all, he didn't even do that. And then second of all, you edited the clip to make it seem like he did that. So already, Amber Lynn, you've already fucked up your entire argument because now people are going to really not believe you because you're already lying from the gate. Like you're, you're lying in the way that you edited this video. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish by doing that. But girl, that was not the way to go. That was not the way to go. Now, ableism... <laughs> criticizing their mobility blah 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 all of that stuff let's contextualize their disabilities shall we for the longest time for years when it comes to Amberlynn, i know this for a fact this is how it's been i hate that i'm going to have to talk about them both at the same time but they're pretty much doing all the same things at this point so they're almost pretty much the same person at this point so that's just how it's gonna have to go the thing that really got me with their whole disability spew or whatever is you have to look at this sum of all parts like you have to look at this with like a, a mindset of sum of all parts because it's if you look at it it just one video if you look at it just this the clips that Amberlynn wanted to pull out or whatever yes it does look like there's a man who is ridiculing an overweight woman but you have to contextualize that with everything that Amberlynn has showed us thus far she has showed that she is willing to lie about people to make up stories about people in terms of just so she can get views for her videos so she can make content for her videos she has no problem with making false rape accusations um making entire 40 minute long videos destroying people's entire like she th th this woman has no problem doing that and neither does Chantel. Chantel loves to make videos like that too so for them to be like then all upset that people are going to call them on their mistruths or call them on their lies or call them on their falsehoods now it's like oh how dare people how dare they do this like it's so stupid it's so ridiculous to me but you also have to remember when it comes to their disabilities they weren't all or quote unquote their quote unquote disabilities i hate that we even have to like say this it's so stupid but when it comes to like their quote unquote disabilities i think it's important that we we remember all of it right so before all of this went down before um these videos came out before Amberlynn had reached 560 pounds she was 389 pounds or whatever for years people have been telling Amberlynn that if you continue at this rate these are the results that you are going to yield this is what she got We've been telling her for years that if you keep eating like this, if you don't move your body, if you don't see the doctor, if you continue to eat out all the time, you are going to become a 500 or 600 pound woman and you're going to have these issues. OK, so now that you're now that she's having these issues now, all of a sudden we're supposed to be sensitive to that. I don't understand how that works. OK, she wasn't born with some kind of congenital uh, disorder. She wasn't born with some kind of chromosomal abnormality. She was born like the rest of us. She was born into a shitty situation like a lot of other people. And this is where she is now. And she has decided that instead of taking her, her life in her own control, she is going to give up and eat her way to 600 pounds and then not only do that but along the way she's going to weaponize her body and she's going to weaponize her weight to make money by getting people to feel sorry for her by manipulating her audience into having sympathy for her by constantly making people feel b bad about her about her size when she did this to herself and i understand that she deals with depression i understand that she deals with anxiety i understand all of that stuff welcome to the normal welcome to i mean i know normal is an ableist word and we can get into all of that later or whatever feel free to leave in the comments about why we shouldn't use the word normal or whatever i that's fine i'll read it 
But I want to make this point abundantly clear. A lot of people suffer from depression. A lot of people suffer from anxiety. And a lot of people suffer from some kind of a trauma that they have had to endure in the past. That doesn't give you license to be a complete piece of shit to people wherever you go and then also it doesn't give you light it doesn't mean that you are entitled to any kind of audience or any kind of sympathy or any kind of love just because you've endured something okay so with that being said i think it's highly ridiculous that now that she has pretty much exhausted every other means of getting any kind of sympathy or traction on her side now we're going to use the ableist argument we're gonna we're now we're gonna say that i am disabled and that anyone who says anything about me is therefore criticizing my disability and that's a no-go and that's not okay that's not okay and in my opinion that that lowers the level of the of the conversation we're having when it comes to ableism i think it's gross that these two women are co-opting this argument in order to make themselves it, to, to put themselves in a better light it's disgusting it, it, in my opinion it shits on anyone who has to live with a disability because the truth is that all of the stuff that amberlynn and Chantel are having to deal with are completely 100 percent avoidable it, all they had to do was see a doctor all they had to do was see a psychiatrist all they had to do was start putting together a team of people to help them overcome their obstacles and overcome their their lifestyles and overcome the way that they have uh, the habits that they have formed. But instead they decide to revel in it. They decide to live in it. They decide to enjoy it. They decide to make money off of it. That's the part that like confuses the fuck out of me. Like it confuses me to no end that like you've chosen this life and you've chosen to be this way. And now that the chickens have come home to roost, now it's an issue. Now that people are going to start calling you on your bullshit, now you're disabled and now you can't now no one can say anything to you like it's so ridiculous it's so ridiculous i also think that this is incredibly ironic given the fact that these two individuals have mocked able disabled people all the time i mean fuck chantelle mocked chantelle mocked amber lynn for using using a, a mobility scooter at the grocery store you know what makes me sick to my stomach youtuber Using a, that you use a motorized cart to get around Walmart to go buy your snacks and journals when there's people who are disabled who need those scooters. I'm 372 pounds. And I would never, never use a scooter because I'd be too ashamed. I would rather not even go into a store. Amber's used mobility scooters for shits and giggles. Who, her and her friends have gone to countless grocery stores, all hopped into mobility scooters and rode around like it was Mario Kart. I physically cannot. <laughs> So now all of a sudden they have all of this consideration and all of this empathy for people who are disabled because they themselves are now quote unquote disabled. They want that same kind of sympathy, which in, in and of itself is kind of just incredibly demoralizing in my opinion to people who live with disabilities because the whole point of talking about people with disabilities and to get that information and, and that knowledge out there isn't to get pity or to seek pity for people with disabilities it's to just it's to elevate people to a better and a more it's to elevate people to a higher understanding of this is what it's like to live with disabilities and to be more considerate of those with disabilities that's all that they want they don't want special treatment they don't want to be um can, they don't want to be doted on. They just want to be treated like everyone else. But that's the complete opposite of what Chantel and Amber Lynn want. They want special privileges. They want entitlements. They want to be they want to be doted on. And I think that that's incredibly sad. I don't think that that is normal for someone to want to live in a world where they are pitied for their situation like i don't i don't understand like who would want to live in that existence where everyone always just feels sorry for you i also kind of want to talk a little bit about now how before the argument for amberlynn and Chantel was that they were big but they were healthy that was always the argument that that we were fed as a viewer is that yes they're big but they're healthy come here what 
I got my lab results. What? <laughs> They're normal. Oh, yay! <laughs> you scared me. Damn. Go back to the on you. They're normal. I know, but like, why? <laughs> like, don't you think, like, why? Like, how is that possible, you know? You're just healthy. You're just big. That's I'm it. <laughs> You're healthy. You're I'm just recording. big. <laughs> Yes, Amberlynn went to the doctor. Yes, she had high blood pressure, but she's healthy. Same with Chantel. Yes, I have pulmonary embolisms. Yes, I'm big, but they didn't talk about my weight there. So me being fat, that can't be the reason why I'm having these issues. So now what they're saying is that, yes, they're fat, and yes, they're beautiful, and yes, they're healthy, but they're also disabled. I don't get it. It makes no fucking sense to me. It literally makes no sense to me, and I'm so fucking annoyed that we even have to have this conversation because, like I said before, they are purely co-opting this ableism thing just to make themselves feel better. They tried the whole, oh, it's men being men, to, it's men being me mean to women i mean if i have to hear that dated argument one more time that a man can't say anything to a woman because he's a man i'm going to lose my fucking mind then they tried to say that they're being fat shamed well sorry sweetie the majority of the people who criticize or comment on your life are fat like a lot of us are fat that's just what it is we see it we under we we understand that you are fat we understand the bullshit that you spew too because you're fat we understand the excuses i think that's another reason why they don't it's, it's like they don't want to hear the truth right and when that all didn't work when um when when trying to frame the narrative that men can't talk about women or that people are fat shaming them, then it became, well, I have, now it's become, now I have a disability. So it's, I just think that it's incredible. They will go to no end to find any kind of pity, any kind of sense of sympathy, anything to make them feel a little bit better. They have decided that weaponizing their their morbid obesity and coming on here and filming mukbang after mukbang, after crying about how they're fat, about crying about how they can't go here. One woman has a one woman, Chantel literally had pulmonary embolisms and what did she do that week? She did mukbangs. Like it's it's crazy. It's literal craziness out here. If me saying stating the obvious about this stuff makes me ableist, then so be it. I don't know. I personally don't think that that's the case. But if that is what it is, then please enlighten me. I don't know what else to say. These two individuals have done everything in their power to stay fat. That's really what it comes down to is they've done everything in their power to stay fat. Chantel literally lives in somewhere where they have socialized medicine. And I know that the whole argument about, well, oh, well, she, there's a line, blah, blah, blah. She has to wait. She's been talking about seeing doctors for fucking years. OK, and she always she cancels appointments. The, Amberlynn's the same fucking way. I, she she lives in America. So, yes having health insurance is more of a luxury here for some people, for a lot of people. Um, but the truth is that Amber Lynn is claiming to be filing, paying $39,000 in taxes every year. So what I, so what that means to me is she can put a little change away to pay for that Obamacare. That's what that means to me. And even then she's still paying $39,000 in taxes. She can pay out of pocket to go and see the doctor. It's going to be expensive, but I would think that my health would be more important than doing Walmart mukbangs and doing uh, doing torrid hauls and doing mystery boxes. So, but that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. If you want to go ahead and waste your money on all that stuff, that's you. But I also think that it's not okay for you to come on here and do everything in your power to not try to get healthy and then claim that you're disabled. It's not. A, I don't think that that's chill. I don't think that that's cool. I don't think that that's kosher in any way, shape, or form. Okay. So the truth of the matter is, is that Amberlynn and Chantel refuse to be. To refuse to have any kind of accountability they refuse to have any kind of determination and they don't want to be uncomfortable and unfortunately for you all of those th three things are required to lose weight you have to have determination you have to have accountability and you have to be willing to be uncomfortable a part of losing weight is being uncomfortable it's easier to live in those bad habits and to stay fat eating that awful food and continuously um, interact engaging in that behavior than it is to break those habits to be uncomfortable to have accountability to have some determination and to be successful amber this is all all of this culminates down into is that amberlin and Chantel they just really want to remain how they want to 
how they live. They want to be able to eat on camera. They want to be able to cry on camera about being fat. They want th th this is all of a means to an end for them, and this is all a means to say exactly how they are. They have no ish. They have no plans on changing anytime soon. It's all bullshit, and that's just how I feel about it. Okay, and I know that it's. I know. I know that was a bit of a rant. And like I said again, if you want to have a discussion about ableism, please DM me. Leave me a comment, all of the above. Send a fucking carrier pigeon. Do whatever you need to do. I'm down to have this discussion. Like I said, I'm always down to read literature. I'm always down to um, be enlightened when it comes to things like this and social causes like this. Um, I know a lot of people think that like I'm like this cold-hearted, evil person, but it's really not the case. So yeah, like I said, please, if we can continue this conversation. I do not think that Chantel and Amberlynn are disabled. I mean, that's my personal opinion. I think that they ate themselves into the situation they're in. And now that they don't have the YouTube audience behind them either anymore, now they feel a type of way. And so I think that this was just all a means to an end to make it to get people on their side again. That's all this was all this is. And I think it's disgusting and I think it's not OK. And that's pretty much all I got to say. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching my video. Please subscribe, comment, like, um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Michael B. Petty. And until next time. Toodles.